guys. So this isn't a video I expected to be making, but here we are. Please ignore all the shit in the back here. This is all my work stuff from an event. Um, but I'm just on my way to go and pick up Ziggy. He's at daycare at the moment, so um, he gets like a two hour time slot. And so I have to go pick him up. for the rest of the day because I just cannot deal with a hybrid dog today. Um, but yeah, anyway, getting on to like what we're here to talk about, I didn't think I'd be making this video because I thought I would be making a really exciting video telling you guys that we're pregnant and that we're having a baby. Um, but a few months ago, like almost three months ago, we found out that we were pregnant it was way sooner than we thought because we've been trying since like November but our doctor told us it can take like seven months to a year after taking your contraceptive out um, so we weren't expecting it at all I actually hadn't been testing um, at all like I'd been just you know like waiting to see what happens and I just thought there's no way there's no point even testing because there's no way it's gonna happen so soon and there's no point getting our hopes up like whatever happens happens we'll just go with the flow but it happened and I'm gonna put the videos at the end of this video of us finding out um, I actually found out by myself and then I told Benny like later on that day and we we're obviously like super excited um, everything was new to us, we'd like got our midwife in, we'd gone to see the doctor, it was like a really super exciting time and we went to the doctor to get a blood test um, just to check that everything was okay because there's nowhere here where we live to get an ultrasound so um, you have to go like quite far so she said well why don't you get a blood test and then you can like check that everything's okay um, so I got a blood test and it came back that I was in the 70th percentile of like HCG, which is a pregnancy hormone, which is really, really good. She was like, that's amazing. Like it could be multiples, it could be twins. And I was like, holy shit. Um, so at this point we like told everybody we knew, like close friends and family, um, just because it was like, we'd got to like eight weeks and we were just like so excited and like everything was looking really good from the blood tests and stuff. And um, we booked in our scan and we booked a day to go away. And that day we were also supposed to go to Benny's brother's like birthday trip away. And the day before we found out that his brother had COVID so we couldn't actually go on this trip. And now I'm really glad that we didn't because we had this scan at 9 a.m. that morning and we were supposed to go like to the trip later in the day. Um, and anyway, we get to the scan, both like super excited, but I said to Benny on the way to the scan, I was like, what if something's wrong? And he was like, don't be silly, like everything's gonna be okay, like we've had the blood test, everything's fine. I was like, I don't know. I was like, I just got a feeling. And bear in mind, like nothing was wrong at this point. Like I didn't have any like, like weird anything. Like I just had a feeling like my gut was just telling me that something was wrong. And we went in there like we had the scan and the lady was like so nice and the baby came up and it was such a beautiful little baby like oh my gosh like so perfectly formed just beautiful and we were looking at it for like just over a minute and then the like ultrasound lady said there's no heartbeat which obviously is really sad and guys I'm making this video like quite a while after all this has happened so I feel like I've dealt with a lot of the grief and emotion and sadness behind it now so I'm able to like talk about this without like crying because if I would have talked to you like a week ago I think I would have been like <laughs> breaking down and not even able to talk so um so yeah I feel like good talking about this so don't worry I'm like fine now but it was obviously really heartbreaking and Benny and I were just in the room just like crying together and just like couldn't believe it and like we just came out and Benny was like I just did not expect that at all but for me like I just I don't know I just had a feeling that something wasn't right and there was nothing like I said I had no symptoms I had no cramps I had no like bleeding or anything I just had a feeling that something wasn't right 
even weeks before when I had like gone for my blood, like blood test and I talked to the doctor before the blood test, I said like, what are the signs of miscarriage? Like what, what like would tell me that something is wrong? And then we met our midwife and I asked the same question and she said, you would have cramping, you would have bleeding, you'd have signs like your pregnancy symptoms would be gone. And none of that happened. So it, um, the miscarriage that I had is called a missed miscarriage. It's the most common type of miscarriage, but nobody talks about this. And this is why I'm making this video, just to like raise a little bit of awareness for what happens. Because before this happened to me, I had no idea that this was even a thing. My thoughts on miscarriage were that you'd be in pain, that you'd have some bleeding or spotting, and you'd have signs that like something would happen. Like for even the midwife and the doctor to say to me that you'd have signs, but I didn't have any, any signs at all. So when we got to the scan, it was a complete shock and like, anyway, I'm gonna make a whole video on the actual like process of the um, option that we chose after we found out that the baby had no heartbeat um, and that obviously wasn't alive anymore. Um, it's probably just a bit too graphic for this and I want to make a whole video explaining the whole process and um, just talk about like you know some of the more graphic things that a lot of people might not want to hear in this um, video but I think I just wanted to make this video just to talk about this like missed miscarriage situation because so many women go through it and now that I've been through it I've learned that one in four women will have a miscarriage in their life. One in four, it's 25% of women will go through this, women who are trying to get pregnant I'm talking about. And that's a huge percentage of the population and nobody talks about this. I mean, I in my life have never had anybody talk about this experience, like especially not in any detail. Like you hear of people who are like, oh, they lost the baby, but that's it. Like you don't hear about like how, why, and obviously it's too painful and you'd have to be really vulnerable to be able to talk about this. I'm just gonna pick up Ziggy. <laughs> He's at his little daycare place. He gets so excited when I pick him up. He like loses his shit. Okay, I'm just gonna pick up Ziggy and I will see you in a second. Hey. Oh, wow. Okay. We're gonna wipe that down, matey. What have you done? So, we have Ziggy on board. Come and say hi. He's just finished his egg hit and he is exhausted. Literally, I don't know if you can see. Oh, he's like laying down now, but he is exhausted. And the daycare people said he was super naughty. <laughs> yeah, he was super naughty and he smells like a lot. So I think he was playing a lot and like, I think he was jumping up on them, which they hate, obviously. I hate it when he jumps on me as well because he's like 25 kg. It's really heavy. Yeah, so we've obviously informed all of our like close family and friends that we told and I think like in the beginning Benny and I were like we shouldn't have told anyone, we should have waited until three months where the risk is like way less um, and you know what, I'm not feeling any type of way that I told anyone, like I don't regret it because all of those people that we told, like all of Ben's family, like all of like my close friends, his close friends, they've all been there to support us. They all have like such positive words, like people have sent us flowers and just been like really there for us um, during that hard time and like calling us and checking in and just making sure that we're okay. And honestly, that's got us through way faster, I think, than if we weren't to have told anyone. Like, I just feel like if you don't tell anyone, then you're just gonna be in a really lonely place going through this completely by yourself. And it's everybody's personal choice, but I think if we were to go through this again and like, God willing, hopefully we're able to get pregnant again, I will definitely be telling people like as soon as we find out because I really wouldn't want to go through this again and not have anybody know, you know, like I just think the more support you can have during this time, the better. If it's something that you're like scared of, I understand because I made a video um, a little while back and you might have watched it, you might not, um, that said like my 
pregnancy fears. They were like my pregnancy fears. And so it came true. Like one of my pregnancy fears came true and it was a miscarriage. And I was petrified of that happening. But now that it's happened, I can see so many positives. And again, I'll go into this in my other video that I'm gonna make, but there are so many positives for me in this situation. And obviously losing a baby is not a positive for us. Now that we've been through this, any future pregnancies are just gonna be so much more appreciated. And yes, if this baby had been born, it would have been the most loved baby ever, but we will now appreciate every second of the next pregnancy we can get pregnant again. I really hope we can. I don't see why we wouldn't be able to. Um, but yeah, we're just going to appreciate everything so much more. And like, I'm really trying to look on the brighter side of things because you have to, right? Like to get through hard shit, you have to look at the positives. And I think most people will be like, well, what's the positive in losing a baby? But I can see a lot. I can see a lot. So I'm trying to focus on those things. And we had like, when we found out after the scan, we had like the weekend to really process everything and be sad together and cry and feel our emotions and really feel what we were feeling before we had to go through the medical, like physical stuff. So I think that really helped um, just having that time together at home um, and just dealing with things probably instead of just like going back to work straight away or like going into the like physical stuff straight away. And I think it would have been a lot more traumatic, but again, I'll go into this in my other video that I'm gonna upload talking about the whole experience but yeah I thanks for listening guys I wish that this was happier news to share with you um, but I'm not putting this video out for sympathy I'm just putting it out there to raise awareness that this literally happens all the time and actually now that we've like talked about it with a lot of people um, like so many women friends family like other people that we know have come out and said yeah it's happened to me too in one way or another like I miscarried or I lost my baby or you know and it's like so common and I just wish more people would talk about it so I want to start that conversation and you know what if anyone wants to talk if anyone wants to talk to me about it or like you've been through a similar experience and you want to talk about it and share I would love to talk to you I would love to like share your story and um, if I can offer advice to anyone if I can like be there to support anyone like please just message me so I'm working for the rest of the day and I'm gonna hang out with this little guy Ziggy he's looking out the window where are we oh where are we oh um this is what I mean you're like on me you're like literally on me but you're very cute this guy has been keeping me so much company like throughout this whole process. He's been here for me, giving me lots of snuggles. Anyway guys, thanks for listening. <laughs> Ziggy and I are gonna go sign off and hang out for the day. And if you're interested in watching that other video, it's gonna be probably a little bit graphic. I'm just gonna go into some detail for those who are interested in what I went through. And um, yeah, it should be up pretty soon. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Thought I'd quickly pick up my phone. Sorry about the quality of this, but I just wanted to capture the moment just in case. I mean, everything's probably fine. for my period and um like I know the video is saying like are we trying to get pregnant oh wait so I mean trying you know when you think of trying you think of like all the time <laughs> but like Jenny has got a full-time job like 60 hours a week I've got a full-time job like 24 hours a day running a business and like I mean you know without going into too much detail we have a good time but when it comes to like actually trying on a day to day try, we just like not even taking note of it. Like I've been like kinda tracking my periods this year, but they're so irregular anyway since I had my IUD taken out that it's kind of like impossible. Um and also I just like don't 
I don't care. I'm like, it happens, it happens. But, um, when I say late for my period, like, they are regular. So I feel like this is the perfect time of the year. I might upload it anyway. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna stick. So, I have a minute left. I'm just gonna, like, try to get you all. Since they started trying, which was, like, months ago, I can't even remember. And, like I said, like, trying. I took a pregnancy test on the first month. And I wasn't pregnant. And I cried. Which I didn't expect because I was like, first month, there's no way we're going to get pregnant. Um, and my doctor told me that if we have your IUD out, that it can take, like, seven months to a year for your body to regulate again. Which is true because my periods were definitely not regular. So, I'm like... Well, yeah, I just wasn't expecting it. And then that first month, um, I cried my eyes out. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> that's not gonna be me. We're not gonna be able to have children. Like, I think I put it in my pregnancy fears that, like, my one of my family members really struggled with pregnancy and getting pregnant and um, had to have like IVF, which is super expensive. And I just, I don't know, I always have a feeling that this is going to be us, that we're just going to, like, struggle. So, that first month I cried, just dramatically. And then after that, I just didn't take any pregnancy tests, because I was just like, there's no point putting myself through it. If it happens, it happens. I'm not going to be, like, crazy about it. I'm just going to let my body do its thing, regulate, and then, like, it happens. But I'm going to stop talking, because I'm, like, really nervous on my shoulders like this, but... What if it's like positive, but also what if it's negative? If it's okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna talk out loud here. If it's negative, whatever, like we're not, like I said, trying, trying. So if it happens, it happens, if it doesn't, whatever. If it's positive, holy fucking shit. How am I gonna tell Benny? Oh my god, I have to think of like a cute way to tell him. Oh my god! If this is true, what do we know, Mark? It's gonna be a Scorpio baby! Oh my god! My favorite! I just don't know what to say. I just like, I feel like I could cry, but I'm just so happy. Why would I cry? I'm so happy. What a baby! Me! Okay guys, I'm gonna go and sit with this and try and figure out a way to tell Benny I'm like a cute way. He's gonna be like so excited. I keep talking about it. It's like, when we have a baby this, or when we do this, or when we have a baby here, la 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 la. Okay, I'm gonna go. I, I need to take another test. I need to like 100% for real, because like, oh your favorite color. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>